<laughs> hey, welcome back to the show. Hey, Taylor, chill out. Chill out. She's all fired up. So Taylor excited. McNair, Miss Rodeo America. That's right. Whoa, huh? <laughs> Have you ever been to Eagle County before? You've never been to this rodeo? No, I haven't. Is it your job or your role to travel to different rodeos around the country? Is that what you do? You hit the nail on the head. I'm the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association official ambassador. So I travel over 100,000 miles to over 100 rodeos, educating the public and being that liaison between rodeo and the general public. How did you start with all this? Like we talked to Taylor, I mean to Logan and Bailey, um, and they're the princess and queen for this rodeo. And they kind of grew up working their way up through 4-H. Is that kind of where you started? And where are you from? Tell us your background. Yes, sir. I started in 4-H. I am from the great state of Mississippi, a pretty good long ways from here. But yeah. I grew up on a farm, a row crop farm, corn and soybeans. So I knew horsepower and tractors okay. and not really in horses until later in life. And then it sparked a passion and an interest. Uh, because the livestock industry is really connected to rodeo, I kind of felt like I, I knew my way around. But let me tell you, I learn something new every day when it comes to rodeo. So that and to, to get this accolade, to be Miss Rodeo America, like what is the process behind that? It doesn't happen overnight. What is the process and what made you say to yourself, I kind of want to go for this. I, I want to be Miss Rodeo America. Oh my goodness. Well, there's been three Miss Rodeo Americas in less than a decade from my home state of Mississippi. Oh, no wow. So I've been inspired by the women that have come before me. But let me tell you, it's a week long pageant where they take technology away from us. No cell phones, no laptops, no iPods. That's a big deal for millennial girls. Right? It totally is, for sure. We compete in horsemanship. We have a written test pertaining to rodeo history, rules, regulations, equine science science, interviews with four prestigious judges, there's modeling, extemporaneous speaking, they give us a topic, 10 minutes to prepare and then deliver to a crowd. So they really test your abilities in uh, the role that you would be as Miss Rodeo America. Now, you obviously went through the ranks of queen and princess. Did you do that also? Um, when you were younger, before you got to this point? I did. I competed in my first Rodeo Queen pageant when I was 15 and won my first one when I was 16. And I held seven titles, including this one, uh, the Miss Rodeo America. So I kind of climbed the ranks of our local rodeos, uh, all professional rodeo, Cowboys Association sanctioned rodeos. So this is what I know best, professional rodeo. I never was a high school queen or a right. 4-H queen. I just knew I loved the PRCA. No That's yeah. really cool. So... How long do you hold the title for then? Do you Does it change every year or do you have it for a couple of years? Uh, just one year. All so I when, get is When does it run year. out for you? Uh, and the December 10th is when they'll crown a new girl this year and my reign will officially end the end of December and she'll take over January 1st. And then do you have to go to that event and then you hand off the crown, so to speak? That's right. The hat. Yeah, well, the Landstrom's Black Hills Gold crown that I wear on my Greeley hat is what I will pass on to the next Miss Rodeo America. And this has been passed around for decades, this piece you have on your hat. Right. Uh, it's been passed around since 1965. No well, actually kidding. a different one. Uh, there's three. This is actually a replica of the original. Okay. And so that crown, the original is in the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. There's another one at Landstrom's in South Dakota. And then I proudly wear this one. That's really cool. Really, really amazing to speak with you. So what are you going to be doing? We have a little more time while you're here. What does it look like while you're at this rodeo for the next four days? What do you get to do? Like socialize? Do you have speaking engagements? A little bit of everything? Yeah, for sure. You know, this event is so much more than just a rodeo. So, of course, I'll be here nightly at the rodeo performances, uh, whether that is carrying sponsor flags or helping with the mutton right. busting, however the committee wants to use me. There's also livestock shows going on, a great carnival. I mean, fun for the entire family. Family, so you might not uh, know where you're going to see me next. But you're over six feet tall. You're going to stand out like a sore thumb. They're going to be like, oh, my God, that's the girl we saw on TV today. <laughs> this is true. You can't <laughs> miss me. Sorry. I love it. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations you. on everything you've done. you got to stop by the Eagle County Fair and Rodeo. you got to say hi to Logan, to Bailey, and also to this lady right here, Taylor McNair, Miss Rodeo USA. Thanks for being here once <laughs> Thank again. Thank you. All right, we have more of the show coming up. A look at the weather and then hour number two of Good Morning Vale.